music and art lovers from all over the state flock to Northport today for the 43rd annual Kentuck Festival of the Arts. The event features a variety of art from vendors that come from all over the U.S. Executive Director Amy Eckel says that she's proud that the event has managed to stay true to its roots, while other art events have become very commercialized. Shows like this engage the community with the arts in a way that it's only once a year, and there are some great festivals throughout Alabama, but this one focuses on folk art and traditional crafts. In addition to bringing a wide variety of art to the area, the Kentuck Festival also gives many artists and vendors a major platform to present their work. Art vendor Caroline Anderson says not a lot of people would know about her artwork without festivals like these. It's really important, especially for the small program of the book arts at the University of Alabama, because we're a very small program of only about 10 people. Um, so if we don't do things like this, people don't even know we're there, because we're just on the top floor of Gorgas. Nobody ever goes up there. And if, if we don't come out, nobody will know. So it's very important. After four decades, Eccles says she is proud of the festival's continuity and commitment to local art, along with the vision of its founder. The vision of our founder, Georgine Clark, who really wanted to go out, she would go to every roadside art show and church bazaar, and she would actually, actually seek out these homegrown southern artists. These artists have to paint. It's, it's their it's what they were born to do. For the University of Alabama, I'm Jay McSlayer reporting.